Umurongo nwa chumi nu munani. Abe feso gatanda tu chumi nu munani. Nge guita nsoma. Harafu gangu. Musenge sumuka. Iteka. Muchi. Muburjo bugose. Muburjo bungahe. Bugose bugogu korichi. Bugogu senga no kuinginga. Nda suwira mo. Musenge shumuka. Ephesians 6.18 And pray in the spirit. Musenge shumuka. Pray in the spirit. Musenge se umuka. Pray in the spirit. In all occasions with all kind of prayers and requests. In all kinds of prayers. Meaning there are different ways of prayers. Meaning Meaning if someone says do this kind of a thing but do it in all ways possible meaning it's possible in different ways in all occasion of prayer and all kind of prayer in requests and in this with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying keep on praying for all the saints and Paul keeps on saying also remember of me and pray for me God has put this in my heart to talk about prayer that changes things. Prayer that shifts things from the normal way of where they are. Tell your neighbor there is a prayer that changes and shifts things. Now, I will talk about three or four ways or even all of them depending on how it goes. That we may see how to put in action. When God was putting grace room in my heart, I saw there is a place where we will meet and the biggest time that we'll be having will be time for prayer. God told me that he's going to raise a great army and train them as warriors of prayer. Muburjo ndibuka icho jihe bjiangu ze kumuti machane kuko bjiangu ze kumuti machane kuko bjiangu ze kumuti machane kuko bjiangu ze kumuti because that time when God was speaking this to me it touched my heart and God started showing me greater ways of looking for him ili jambo kusenga satana ragapfa kanda za hamge abanu bari fashe muburjo kutandu kanye jamba isura kuburjo ni umu nagia kusenga wangati unsenge renauti kandu nabesha nuribu mngibu ke ujiza kanukose kwa guhumiriza kita kusenga mbega ili jamba kusenga jara fungwe kuburjo numenya what and what this word prayer has been taken so light to a point people say that you pray for me and you say yes and you don't even do it so we have taken it as light as anything else and it doesn't carry the meaning it's supposed to carry this word prayer every kind of religion says that they do it Everyone who has a problem, they keep on saying, let's pray, let's pray.
Mbega ni chini ubona gikoreshwa cyane aruko hari kifuzo runaka cyangwa ni chini dukora just kuko hava ibintu runaka numunsi twibuka kuvuka kwa Yesu wo munsi ukabwira abana mwoge kwagura n'imyenda mishya ukabahana mbega ni chini cyahawe isura itariyo gihabwa meaning itariyo kuko satani yarazimbaraga zirimo Prayer has become something so light that everyone plays with to a point you feel like you know you just have to pray because something has come up you have to pray because there is a need of something and you take it light to a point it doesn't carry the meaning of what it has to carry because the devil knows that if it carries the meaning it's going to do something Iri jambo gusenga nicyo kintu cyonyine imana yasigiye kiremwa muntu iyo ucinjiyemo kigukonekta direct numuremye wawe this is the the what the thing prayer is the only thing that god left with for human being that whenever you enter into it it connects you directly to your creator Nabi haya gaciro mbiboneye ku mwami wanje Yesu wi Nazareth I saw it when Jesus was doing it Uma mabwiza kuri Yesu yari imana igihumbi kwijana Jesus was God a thousand percent na kwijana yari imana yaciye mu mukobwa abizi ibyo akora yari nka film ari marakina yari uburyo ashaka kugira ngo aze yambara kamero ku muntu just ariko anahageze yari imana yiyambitse umubiri kugira ngo igere ku ntego ariko kimwe mu bintu byamutunze yarugusenga Jesus was was uh, he came in the world just to come and save us to come in the nature of human being but he knew what he was doing and when he was on on, on the world he did nothing else but his life was full of prayer igitabo cyaruka cyerekana Yesu ngo mu museko tambitse ngo bamusanga ari marasenga ngo abwira intumwa ze ngo numugende arazamukara ari joro ryose asenga no ari ibintu nsoma amarira kamanuka Yesu ko nta cyaha na nikigeragezo cyo gukora icyaha yari afite nta byaha byamubyigagamo nta mugore yaragiye gushaka ngo arasengera urugo nta mwana yaragiye gusiga niki kiri très important cyatumagara ari joro ryose yukira mu masengesho akabazamura wa umva gusenga niki mani hamagariye grace room let me tell you jesus if you read the book of luke you find jesus was praying early in the morning he used to be with the disciples but in a time he would go aside and keep praying he would pray in the morning he would pray in the evening all the time was a prayer time to him he had no sin that he was praying for he was not praying for any marriage he was not praying for any child but the way he was seeking god while he's god himself it shows us what we need to do hallelujah hallelujah bila sobanutse is it yes we are man quiz jesus was god moving in the world ariko kimwe mu bintu we ubona yahaye umwanya yarebaga uri kanya baramuburaga intumwa zaje kumureba piyo uri bukabaza kumufata ngo bajye kumwitsa bamusanze he igetse mani ari marakora iki He was praying all the time he all the time the time that he had he was giving it to prayer even the time when they were betraying him wanting to come to pick him to kill him they found him praying in other words they knew his address where to find him they knew where to go find him praying hallelujah hallelujah now to go comes ariko ndashaka kugira inama mwe ne datura i want to give an advice to someone here iyi ni nshuro ya gatatu uje muri grace room it is the third time you have come in grace iyi chimwe rucya gatatu it is the third week ubwa mbere narakubwiye ndimo ndasengera abantu nakugezeho ndakubwira mu matwi the first time as i was praying for people i came to you and i talked to you in your ears urabyumva ubwa ko you never do it again ura and then you heard about it and you said you will not do it again Last week you were here. No ne wagarutse. And this time you have come again. Ndashaka kugira inama, iyi ni your last warning. This is the last warning I'm giving you. Nukomeza bizakwitwa ko ngiye kukumwaza kandi nzaguhagurutsa mu bantu. If you continue, I will ashame you in front of people. Nzaguhagurutsa kandi urumuntu wiyubashye urumubyiye iso. Nushaka kubireke. Ibyo uri muratumwa bireke. Ntuzadushobora. 
Whatever you are doing, leave it. You will not manage this room. Go and tell them that it doesn't work that way. Go and tell them that it doesn't work. It has backfired. And I am telling this to you. Stop it. Hagarika, if you do it again, I'm going to st make you stand up. I am going to call you up here and you will come and you will be ashamed. If you continue doing that, let me preach the gospel. Jesus was a son of the Lamb. He was a quiet sheep. But the Bible describes him as the lion of Judah. At times he would become a lamb and he would become a lion. The two times I've become a lamb. This time around you do it again. I am coming in as a lion. And this is not going to so do you stop it. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. Good. I am going, I'm still talking about prayer. It's the only thing. You are putting on this flesh but your spirit can see something. Let me show you one thing that prayer does. Gusenga changwa iyo tuvuga prayer and fasting. Gusenga no kuyiriza. Prayer and fasting. Umubiri uyu mubiri mubona ubgao si mubi. This body you're seeing is not bad. This body you're seeing is not bad. You see these people saying that this body I'm putting on. No. This body you're seeing is not bad. This body is not bad you're seeing. It is good. The bad thing is the kind of nature that is dwells in this body. The bad uh, uh, desires that you have, desires that you have, desires that you have, the bad desires that this flesh has is what is called the kind of nature. The itself is a temple of God. Is a temple of the spirit of God. It is, it is a temple. That's what God sees. The, the reason why you shall serve God is because you have this body. Without this body, therefore, you are called a, you are called a dead body. Fasting, therefore, it helps you to deal with the desires of the flesh that is having, coming in your life. It is coming in your life. The, uh, taking time of fasting and you don't have time to pray it's starving otherwise you should have time for fasting and in time also reserve time for praying that when these two things meet, this is when you break down the kind of nature and the spirit excels in you. The Bible says that you should be led by the spirit, then therefore you shall not do what the kind of nature wishes. Be led by the spirit of God. When the spirit moves you move When it stops you stop When it says kneel you kneel This is when therefore you shall not do what your Your kind of nature 
solutions to do ibyo biba iyo maze gukonekta umutsima wawe ukabwira umubiri ngo jahasi ukakoresha ubure tugasenga yo uyu mubiri urumva nibyifuzo byawo bihinduka nk'inzo kabakubise ukumva uhanditse giant mu mwuko kumvura hagurutse ugatangira kubona neza this hap only when you connect in the spirit and you start oppressing your flesh and it under bondage, then you come up as a giant, look at your flesh down, the spirit flying on an eagle. Vuyango, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul and the Chia Bethes and Abab Giengo. Paul ni musenge sumuka. Paul talked to the Ephesus and said, Speak and pray in the spirit. Musenge sumuka. Pray in the spirit. In all ways. In all different ways of prayer. Nukubugango. In other words, Karuburya Butandu Kanyabuka Kusei. There are many different ways of praying. Nukubugango. It means. Ndiya kume na kubaburya Butandu Kanyabibiri Vugango Kusei. I'm going to show you different ways. I hope you have somewhere to not down. Are you ready? You need to be ready. There are, there are different ways of prayer. And he said, before you go different ways you need to pray in the spirit musenge shumuka in the spirit senge shumuka in the spirit you kwegere ika musenge shumuka when you start learning how to pray in the spirit leva hano kwanza look at me ari maravuga iki senge shumuka setadirwa praying in spirit means what leva nkwereke Look at me, I tell you. Praying is not only be used by the lips, your mouth. Closing your eyes. And you speak of the words coming from your mind. The devil tells you, you have prayed. Yes, you did it. And you feel also you have prayed and that's all. And you go where you're supposed to be to pray. And they say let's pray. You close your eyes. And you start arranging the words. And say Lord. Then. You God who is holy. Yes, you're holy and righteous. Give me A, B, C, D, and that's all. That's it, you have prayed. We shall continue this series of prayer. Praying with understanding. That's what the Bible says. When, when you don't understand, there is a way, Paul said it uh, when he was talking to the Ephesus. He said that we have to move from the way of praying in understanding with the normal words arranged from our understanding and our mind. And we shift and we start praying in the spirits. These things, we don't understand them. Let me tell you. There is another realm of the spirits. There is another realm of the spirit of praying in the spirit itself. If there is, if there is something that happened in me and I praise the Lord for it, is the time when I started praying in the spirit. There is another I reached a place, uh, I found the Lord that I shifted from the thing of praying of understanding into the praying of the spirit. I reached a place that God transformed my life because of praying in the spirit, praying without looking at time, praying without looking at anything. I only know the time when I look at it. I remember when I was sealing for it. 
I read this in the Bible. I was in senior six. Many years ago. I was in the boarding school. And I was reading the Bible. I had this from someone. And I say, what is that? When I used to pray for only three minutes and I feel like the words are over and I'm dry. I pray. I pray for everything and I finish in three minutes. I pray for the nation, for my family and all the problems. Three minutes. And then I come back and pray again. I say, oh dear Heavenly Father, in I repeat in the prayer that I pray. At the time, the time when I was uh, in Rwanda, I, I was from the boarding school. I would see people praying endlessly. And I would wonder, these people, what happens to them? Do you know that even the, uh, the, the disciples asked Jesus, teach us how to pray? I started asking God, teach me, teach me how to pray in the Spirit. These things of praying in the, in, in the body, in the flesh. Teach me, God, teach me. I remember one time, even I remember where I was kneeling down, asking God. I, knew, I read the scriptures. And I understood that we received a helper called Holy Spirit. The Bible says that he shall be with you. He, he shall teach you the things to speak in front of great people. He will, he will. I remember when I knelt down how I started. I closed my eyes. And I said, Holy Spirit. I have been serving you for years. I was a pastor at my school. I was a worship leader in my church. And then I told Holy Spirit, I want you to teach me how to pray. To pray in the Spirit. I want you to. I had read it that he's the one who intercedes for us. I said, come and intercede for me. I want to hear you interceding. I will never forget that experience. I started singing that song, saying it's only you, Jesus. And then I started singing that song. And I was saying, I was saying, Holy Spirit, I don't want to use my words. I want you to use your words through me and pray. That is the last word I remember. I was calling Jesus, Jesus, and I went. It was around nine, a few minutes past nine. I was done with whatever. I turned around again. I found myself sleeping down. I remember uh, that I was kneeling down. I was full of tears. One thing that surprised me, I looked at the time. It was around 1.30, 1, 1 something. To me, it was a great miracle in my whole life. One hour, more than one. Two hours. Three hours. Without keeping quiet. 
and yet I'm not you know feeling myself one time I went to a church some time back here and I saw someone praying you know praying when they are moving around and then when they saw a child they said you hold that uh, that kid make him to sit and he continued yes Jesus thank you Lord they continued praying things of prayer we are taking them so light we have diluted them do you know that people pray pray and look at time and say yes lord jesus yes yes i feel your presence and the phone rings you look at the phone a bit thank you jesus. And, and then you put down and you continue lord jesus we give you glory People take as something that you know very light, you know, you take it anyhow. But let me tell you, there is praying, but praying in the spirit. Where you switch off the normal brain and the normal mind and then you switch off from the candle nature and everything becomes silent including your back pain and the spirit keeps saying bo, 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 bo. you keep praying, praying and you feel inside of you you have someone interceding on your behalf when that time I was shocked by the time one time when I was then every time I would ask God fill me, fill me I used to pray asking God I want you to fill me and I don't want anyone to pray for me but your spirit to fill me I, I, real. I knew that it's real and God filled me Challenging I want to challenge you tonight don't just walk anyhow. Yes, Let me tell you, uh, uh, salvation is so personal. You have to break every bondage that is surrounding you, telling you that this is my background, this is how we used to do things. Start seeking God on a personal level because heaven is for individual and the way you serve God is so individual. Better seek God in an individual manner. I will continue this uh, series of, uh, of this uh, spiritual uh, warfare. The first way uh no ni 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 nhambara yumwoka. Yes, ama senge sho inhambara yumwoka. The prayer of the spiritual warfare. Na babiye kuburyo ari bunga he bitandukanye. Inhambara yumwoka bibiri bibivuga ho muri Luka ibice 1019. Uze kuhisomera. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 the Bible talks about this. Namenye ko I have known this the, the prayer of, uh, of a spiritual warfare this is a prayer that deals with the spirit that is not coming from God Amen. 
God, the Bible tells us that God overcame Satan and his agents and all the devils when he overcame them and he took the keys from hell and gave them unto us. What we have to do is to command them, we don't fight with them for the keys, for we have the keys and we overcome by commanding by the word of our mouth and the faith. I want to tell you this. Let me tell you, there are people who use this in a wrong way. You say, God, come at my rescue. Overcome the devil. It's not like that. It's not like that. This is how it is. Meaning you're like a watchman. Are you seeing? You are right at the uh, in the compound, but you have a boss. Your boss is, is in the house sleeping. You have a gun with you. You are right there uh, at the guard. They have given you the weapon that you need to fight with any thief or any enemy that will come. But the, but the boss is asleep. Is asleep. And you see someone knocking pam 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 in the night. And you stand up. And you say, where, where is my boss? And you just go call your boss. He can think that you have a problem in your mind. You have a mental issue. Meaning you don't know what you have. You don't even know the authority you have. If you see a thief coming, what do you need to do? The reason why he has put you in that position, gave you authority and the weapon needed is for you to fight. You don't call upon the, your boss. You fight because of the authority that your boss has given you with the weapon entrusted with you and whatever the authority here you have been given, you have the right to fight. The reason why your company has sent you where you are to God is because they have trusted you. I'm teaching you grace room knowing your position and standing right in front Jesus did not leave you without any weapon he did not leave you when you're tired he said I am going but in my name demons and they shall my children you shall lay hands on the sick and the children. Children. my children if you eat on any poisonous thing and it happens that they give you anything poisonous without your knowledge to you another thing he said all of them and he said as for me to you all the authority I with my name you shall stand what I'm doing I'm going and he removed everything that he had and gave it to I said he removed everything and gave it to you. You pray and not receive because you don't pray well. Praying in a, in a bad way happens. God, God, come and fight for me. I believe in that. Fight for yourself with authority you have. <laughs> and I tell you something that will surprise you. 
Bibiliya nuko amasaha tujyanye Bibiliya ivuga ahantu harenze hangahe ngo nti muzi ko muri utumana muri imana Don't you know that you are gods imbwa ibyari imbwa Let me tell you something a dog gives birth to a dog to a puppy ibgagura cat gives birth to a cat Inkoko a hen gives birth to a chick Imana God gives birth to Ibyara He gives birth to Imana to small gods Ako kagiye kugucanga It's going to you know it's going to Ihangare nanje kabanje kunchanga Let me tell you I was also confused by that Kugeza umunsi nabyemeye mu byanditswe ngusomere Can I read for you? The Bible says that I am the one who turned you back. Oh, I'm going to ask you, Moses. Is your end to hang on the Pharaoh? Na kujizima na imbere ya Pharaoh. This is what God said that go and look at Pharaoh. Turned you to become God in front of Pharaoh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On your own. Can I tell you a secret? 
I bought, I bought some spectacles of late glasses. I told the devil, if you see me putting on this, guys, just get to know I'm going to chase you out. They're as big as here. <laughs> me, it works for me. Don't imitate me. There are some things that I was tired of. I put them on there as big as this. I found it in town. I said, I'm going to buy this. It's a prophetic way I put them on. And even when I look at myself, I said, Devil, you're a liar. You have to leave. I went. I want to look at you very well. This is a prophetic act. My spiritual eyes will never go black. Can I tell you something? These things work. I counted one, two, three, and the devil left. And then I took off my. This is why I'm not putting them on today. Turn your neighbor and ask them which one do you put on? That is a prayer. Spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. Prayer. He fought for us. He already fought for us. I will never forget. One time I was in Bushumbura. I was praying. They had given me food that night. But I was not feeling okay to eat the food. I felt like they have too much oil in every food. I was so in a, in a shape that was in a very big way. So, and then I stopped. No, I slept without... Uh, I slept when I was complaining. So and, yet, and the spirit of God, I, I saw a, a scripture coming saying that what, what, what is it that it means to say that you will t eat things which are poisonous and they will not kill you. And then I said, that's, you know, it's poisonous. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, based on the faith of someone, <laughs> let me tell you, this is not... nutrition. <laughs> everywhere. And the Spirit of God was explaining to me, saying that hey, things that can kill you, poisonous things can be everywhere. Even in the... So if you're going to pray, you should know how to pray. Do you understand ah. what it means saying that? No, 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 it's not going to get out of the way. It doesn't mean that you need to go and eat everything that, that you, you see. And eat everything that you see. So Hallelujah. it depends on what the Spirit tells you. But the Spirit told me that there are very many things that I protect you from that can kill you. Even the breath that you breathe is contaminated and it can kill your body. So when the scripture says that you will take in whatever that is poisonous and will not kill your body, it includes all those things that can be harmful to your body. It in the same devotional prayers it's a, it's a it's a prayer of devotion or giving out yourself to god ephesians 115 
15 to 20. This is a prayer that comes without any prayer request. Yes. It's devotional prayer is a prayer that comes to tell Jesus how good he has been to you. It's a prayer that ha has no request in it, but rather has a thanksgiving in it. Job used to do this very many times. Anna used to do this very many times. The prayer of Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. They were. The, uh, they were in a problem but they did not face the problem and pray for the problem but rather they just told God how great God is worship this is where worship comes in grace room listen to me this one. listen this one it is saying devotion the devotional prayer it takes you in very many kilometers in just a second. It is saying the devotional prayer is a prayer that shows God how God is great even if you are in a midst of problems meaning the time when you are having all these issues you change your focus from the problems that you have and start telling God how great he is how powerful his name is it takes you higher in the spirit in fact it is saying your devotion if you t spend much of your time in the devotional prayer, you start seeing miracles and wonders on the things that you have not been This is the prayer that Paul and Cyrus made. They had, they had problems and they had to be killed in the morning, but they turned their eyes. Oh. They when you worship God in the midst of your problems, your problems start getting solved without your knowledge. Paul and Cyrus, this is what happened to them. They were in the trouble, in the midst of problem, but they did not focus on the problem. They rather worshipped God. They told God how great he is. And in the middle of the night, all other prisoners had a shake coming in and God started breaking doors for them. What does this mean? Let me tell you this secret. When you have this secret of worshipping amid these problems, when the devil comes to tempt you, he finds you on another ladder. He takes you. God has already taken you on another step. And whenever he's right behind you chasing you, God raises a standard for you. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you, brethren. Worshiping God. Worshiping God amidst the problems is a trip. Kuko ichima zocha 
The problem comes to distract you and make sure that you and God has issues. Look at me. Most of the times when you have temptations, what the devil wants, and it's what the devil wants to tell you, where was God looking when these things were coming? You have been surrounding in that mountain for long. God is not looking at you. Do you know what the devil wants? And you start God, God, where are you? Why are you allowing this? Others, others are getting married. What is wrong with me? I, I have been praying, and this is what you are giving me in return. This is what you are giving me. Do you know there are people who do Satan? The devil starts rejoicing and call his agent and devils to come and rejoice over you. And they put on. And then they start dancing. Oh, 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 oh. We have reached our target. The, the, the main purpose they have is to make sure that there is no relationship with your father in heaven. But the thing is, instead of going saying, God, what is wrong with you? Forgot about me. He's a God, even a bit is your problem. Oh. God is God in all situations. He is not determined. His godliness is not determined by any situation. He is God whether you are rich or poor. He is God whether you are married or single. He is God whether you have a child or not. He is God because he is sovereign. Ni man. He is God. I am saying that he is God. You just turning your back on him. Even from the ancient days, this has always happened. Some of the people also commit suicide. Others even throw themselves in the sea. Just because they want to be against God. Do you think God will stop being God? He shall continue being God. Job said this. He said that be at union with him. And you shall have peace in all your ways. God, you are not going to Our God is sovereign. He is above all. You have to worship Him whether you want it or not, whether you are in good condition or not, because whether you like it or not, He is God without any approval of any human being. He is a God who answers. I found. When God, when you worship God, when you give Him thanks, it becomes like a smelling aroma to Him, and He comes down following the aroma, comes and fixes the problems that you have. We shall come back to this next week. But let me say this as I'm winding up. A human being cannot be separated by the nature of man. But the only thing that can help us is to uh, grow our spiritual inner person that we may overcome or we may oppress the carnal nature of the body. Switching off. 
the reason why on. let me tell you the reason why you keep fighting every time by repenting and then going back to whatever you've been doing before is because you have not reached a level of growing your spiritual person you switch off the carnal nature and you activate your spiritual person and you let him grow and overcome and oppress the nature of the carnal when you spend time in this uh, devotional prayer, your spirit becomes enlarged. Do you know that we have this spirit body, uh, the eyes that we have, the ones of seeing you, and we have also the eyes of the spirit that you cannot see with this flesh? I, I used to hear pastor saying that God has told me, and I wonder, when did this God come to talk to you? you when did this? did this God speak to yeah. and then when I got married to this husband of mine who is a pastor and one, one time he said that God spoke to me and told me and I said uh -huh, wait you will explain and then and then I asked him will you say yesterday that God spoke to you when did he come I did not, we were together in the bed in the room. I didn't see, I didn't hear God. And he laughed. And, and then he said, even right now he's telling me something. I said, ah. So, I, I wanted to hear God. So I used to wonder, am I so deaf that I cannot hear God? I said, Oh. The, and Jesus said that my sheep know my voice. And he said, I want to know you. The way, the way that we are called to serve God one thing that we have to know is that when we come in this devotional prayer you have to be honest with god and tell god god this is the way i am just like the way our brother shadrach did you say god i have this help me to get off this help me to overcome this the way we come to god with an open heart with honesty god uses that and he overcomes it for us. you cannot know the time you, can, you cannot know the time that you stop stealing. He, that's what he said that he, he didn't know when he stopped. You cannot know the time that you you start when it's very hard but no one started these things when they are flowing no you start when you don't understand what it is it's so hard you feel like you start you and you start knowing that this is coming from God and this is coming from, you know, being tired and food and stuff. Like. And sometimes you get tired. And, and every time you dream, you start saying, God, what did you want to say? Because you think every dream is Dreaming is normal. Dreaming is normal for any human being. But, separate, but separating dreams and understanding them, it needs you to pray. This is what Shadrach was saying. There are some people There are some people there are some people who have dreams, but because they don't know how to separate the dreams, you start saying, I saw you in a dream, and that means that you're going to be my wife. No. 
Before two weeks of wedding, of my wedding, someone said, shut up. And then I said, what is that? I am seeing a wind coming. Uh, and he said, I'm seeing a wind blowing. I'm seeing a wind coming. And then that person said, I'm seeing a wind coming and it's blowing and you are in that wind putting on a white dress and you came and held me like this and um, I saw us moving together. And I said, what does that mean? He said, she, tiki. Okay, tell me also. And then I also said, she, she, it means nothing. And then he told me, you go and pray for it. I said, I'm not going to pray for that. Did you pray for it? You, you see, you said that this thing came when you're here. Also me, Ooh, it's not me. It's you, she, she, she. It was just from the flesh. It gives birth to. The things that you see there during the day, sometimes you can dream of them, right? And I was there for the whole week, right? He was seeing me. Dreaming about me. I saw you because Yes, if someone tells you Yes, if someone tells you that I saw you in a dream, let them see you in a dream. You also need to see them in a dream, okay? That's why I like that man called Kabanda, my husband. He told me Even if it's one year or three days if, if you feel it's not right, you tell me. And it will not be real. I took over 12 months. He did not even ask me, did God tell you anything? No. On 2nd September. God came and said, boom. And I said, where is this man? Where is he? Where is he? I I him him him. And I asked him, what is it? Are you still in this? I asked him, are you still in this? And he said, yes. I said, the things that you told me about, are you still in? And I said today, yes. And he laughed. And he said, thank you. You know, in a smooth voice. And then he said, she, and I said, shokoto. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let nobody threaten you. Our God is a God who speaks. The God, God who speaks with someone can speak with the other person also. Let is, nobody terrify you. Spiritual warfare and devotional prayer. Yes, and devotional prayer. We have talked about two only the, uh, spiritual warfare and devotional prayer. We shall go through the same series. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Let's stand up. Don't tell me we pray. pray. We need to pray. Yes. Yes. Let all of us stand up in this room. You know, you know how we do it. Grace room, stand up. Fatichiganza Mujenziwa.